Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Super People. Right now the game is not well optimized. It's kind of fun. It's like some kind of like PUBG with a couple of addi additional uh, like mechanic, if I can say. So we're going to start with Windows. The first one that you need to look at is your game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at on if you have the version 1909 or more recent for Windows 10 or Windows 11. Also, make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off, and I really recommend to remove all those and overlay that you can use, Discord, AMD, Nvidia, whatever, even MS Afterburner, if you want to capture or stream your game, it seems to have like some random bug that if your MS Afterburner is open and you try to capture with OBS, it doesn't work. So make sure that you don't run any overlay when you play this game. The last one is your capture. Make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. I recommend also to look at graphic settings, so search for graphic setting. If you have an NVIDIA card, Series 1000 or more recent, so it helps with the bottlenecks. You can expect like 2 to 5% boost in your FPS. If you have a video card like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060 or the 2060, uh, but don't expect any change if you have something more powerful than that. I also recommend to... Make sure that you update your drivers. So NVIDIA, AMD, go on their website, download the latest one. Pretty much the same thing with Intel if you have the Intel uh, GPU on your processor. So super important to have the latest version of your um, driver. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy mode. Make sure that you go to power option here and make sure that you're running balance or high performance. Um, it really depends, like normally on a desktop computer, you will not have this issue. But when you use a laptop and you plug in the wall, unplug in the wall, some laptop just stay at power saver and you will not uh, use the full capacity of your uh, laptop. So super important to use balance or high performance. One more thing is the uh, overclocking. I have two guides on my uh, YouTube channel, one for overclocking the GPU and the second one is to overclock your CPU. Go look at them. You can sometimes expect like 2 to 15% boost in your FPS, but it really depends on your component, your thermals, and a lot of different variables. But still, you can look at this if you want to try. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, resolution. Make sure that you're playing native in this game. Don't lower your resolution. Uh, for example, if you're, you have a 2K monitor, don't go in 1080p. You will see that your visibility will decrease a lot. Everything will look blurry. So super important to use the native one. For display mode, I really recommend to play full screen. Borderless was causing a lot of stuttering for me. So really important to go full screen. After that, maximum frame limit. You don't have a lot of options in this game. So depending on what you're currently doing, you can lock it with your Radiant software, NVIDIA software, MS Afterburner, whatever. For me, I just locked my FPS at 144. After that, for the vertical sync, I'm not using it. Um, I have a free sync monitor, so that's why I don't use the vertical sync. Same thing if you have a G sync monitor, don't use the vertical sync. A vertical sync adds some input lag. I'm not a big fan of it, but if you don't like your T ring, so you have like weird T ring when you're playing without any vertical sync and you don't like that, I recommend to activate your vertical sync. Smooth frame rate, just put disable for this one. NVIDIA low latency, I don't have an NVIDIA car on this rig, but I have uh, another rig with a, a 2070e and uh, I recommend to put it at on or boost. It will help a little bit with your input lag. Brightness, I didn't touch it. After that, first person mode, if you're playing that, uh, you have an FOV slider and this one is kind of important because higher is your FOV, less FPS that you will have. So if you have like a lot of like, um, I don't know, you're struggling with your, your FPS, you're not getting your 60 or your 120, whatever. Uh, lower your FPS with something like 90 or even 80 and you will see a nice improvement in your FPS. Rendering size, I recommend uh, 100. If you're still struggling after the old guide with your FPS, go with something like 90 or 85. Don't go lower than that because your image quality will decrease a lot and uh, it's not very good for visibility in this game. So now the parameter, the first one is texture. Uh, texture, honestly, you can go with ultra. Really depend on the amount of VRAM that you have. They're saying like 8 gig and plus you can go uh, with ultra, but with all those parameters that, that you will change, 
you can definitely put ultra if you, you you have a 4 gig of vram just look at the vram slider here and make sure that you have 10 percent empty uh here so pretty much it for the shadow i recommend low this one will give you a lot of fps for each bracket it's almost like three to four percent so you can expect a nice improvement here i don't recommend very low because you still want a nice uh resolution for uh, your shadows when you play a game like that you want to see if an enemy is uh on the other side of a building or inside of a, a room or something like that and very low is very low uh when you use in the game you don't really see the uh, the shadows so that's why i recommend to go with low for view distance in this game, I recommend uh, medium because you want to see your enemy. But if you're struggling with your FPS, I recommend to go with low. It will help you to like 3 to 4% more than medium. So uh, it's a big parameter. This one and shadow, those ones give a lot of FPS. I, if I compare ultra to medium, you can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. So really good to change it a little bit. Foliage in this game, I recommend very low. You can expect 8% boost in your FPS. Effect, I recommend also very low. You can expect a nice 5 to 6% boost in your FPS, but also you will have more stable FPS when you're fighting, like when a grenade is exploding, when you're shooting with your gun, less drop. So, pretty good to use very low. Shader, I recommend very low. You can expect a nice 5 to 6% also in your FPS. After that, in the aliasing, I'm using very low. This one is a question of preference uh, and will give you a lot more FPS for sure. If I compare Ultra to very low, you can expect a nice 7% boost in your FPS. But a lot of people don't like the aliasing in this game, so they're gonna use something like medium. So it really depends what you want. Me, I'm not a fan of anti-aliasing in this game. Uh, everything looks blurry with, uh, 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 with the anti-aliasing, so that's why I'm putting this one at very low. After that, post-processing, I recommend very low, nice 6% boost, and also a lot more visibility. Depth of peel, I recommend disable like any first person shooter you don't want to use that after that you have two options for your resolution scaling depending on your video card so you have the amd1 fidel tfx and also you have the nvidia dlss so first of all if you have a decent computer and after my guide you're uh, okay with the amount of fps that you have don't use the resolution scaling i don't like the image a lot of issue like with foliage the trees everything is kind of like moving so i'm not a big fan of it but if you're struggling with your fps use ultra quality or quality you can expect a nice boost so for an example me i'm running the game at like 105 110 in a, like some kind of open world world space when i use ultra quality with amd fidelity fx i'm going at 125 130 so it's a lot better pretty much the same thing with the lss on my uh, 2070 card so really depend like just do some tests look at your fps look at your image quality if you're fine with it just use it because it's good for your fps right now uh, the game is not well optimized so that's why uh, i recommend to use it so yeah this is pretty much it guys for fidelity fx and uh, nvidia dss i didn't talk about sharpen by default it's at two it's a bit high for me i'm just remove the sharpen in this game i'll uh, i currently and we have the default filter from my Radeon software at 60% for Sharpen. So that's why I'm not touching it. So just look at the effect. But you will not see any uh, improvement in your FPS if you add or remove it. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the guide. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.